I'm Dr. Guy Fogel. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon here in San Antonio, Texas. I'm here today to talk about treatment of sacroiliac joint pain, a very disabling condition. The SI joint is a syndroidal joint that has very little motion in it, at most six degrees of motion. The sacroiliac joint connects the pelvis to the lumbar spine and it transmits motion, it transmits energy across itself uh, between the low back and the hips below it. SI joint pain is caused by inflammation. It may be related to arthritis that could happen from a post-traumatic situation or it could happen from infection or it could happen from inflammation such as immune arthritis. The SI joint patient usually would be complaining of hip groin type of pain. Some patients do report tingling and numbness and pain, even like a radiculopathy from the back with pain radiating down the thigh. There's a lot of overlap between the hip and the low back. The origin of the SI joint pain can actually appear to be coming from the back or from the hip. I'm Christina, 37 years old, been in law enforcement for 12 years, and I had my procedure 13 months ago. My pain affected my lifestyle uh, and my life, personal life, work life, all in one. Lower buttock all the way down to my hamstring, to my calf muscle. Then ultimately as things started progressing, it was going down my left side, and then eventually the nerve pain was going down to my toes. I really noticed the pain when after getting some kind of physical therapy from the original fall, I noticed it wasn't getting better. Couldn't sleep, was very anxious because not knowing what's going on with my body. Things of that nature, then it started getting worse and progressing. So then I started, I went to go see a doctor and it was just getting worse and worse and worse. I believe it was in 2017 when I was told I, I have issues with my SI joint. Overall, the incidence of SI joint pathology, maybe 10 or 15 percent of patients I see with pain in the area of the hip because of this overlap and symptoms between the low back and the hip and the SI joint. It's very important to have this joint injected. If it does give relief of the pain even temporarily from the numbing medicine, the patient may be a candidate for an SI joint treatment. Patients can improve just with simple injection treatment of the SI joint, and this may buy them time, even years, where they don't require anything more than an injection. There are other things that are tried. Radiofrequency ablation of the SI joint is a common pain management technique that gives patients some relief. Also physical therapy with rotational and stretching activities may be beneficial for the SI joint patient. The IPUSE procedure, once we've diagnosed the SI joint pathology, is rather straightforward. We make a fairly short inch and a half or two inch incision overlying the SI joint from the lateral side so it's above the hip joint. The implants are placed usually at least three implants or best to give the best fixation. They're very stout implants and they uh, give great initial support of the SI joint. When I came to see Dr. Fogel, I first heard of iFuse through him as a suggestion to help because he immediately recognized my symptoms. The only concern that I had was, is this going to work? But other than that, I was confident in Dr. Fogel's suggestion to get this done. Amazing bedside manner for a doctor. It's hard to see that these days. The operation usually is an hour or perhaps an hour plus a few minutes. The recovery, I remember coming out of it. I was in a little bit of pain. Went home the next day. I was fine. It's very amazing, the simplest of things to do washing dishes to sweeping, to vacuuming, your everyday chores that you do at home that you can do, and it's a great feeling. If I had to do this procedure again, I would definitely do it all over again. If you're having any unresolved back pain or hip pain, it could possibly be the SI joint. I'd like you to call and make an appointment. I'd be glad to evaluate you and do some diagnostic testing to see if we can diagnose the source of your pain. And if it is the SI joint, we can certainly offer treatment for that.